Hey young guys, welcome back to yet another video. On this one, it's gonna be a little bit scattered. The main reason for doing this video this week is pretty much to give a big shout out to Barnsley's Builds. He's a another Australian automotive YouTuber who's just built a WBU all on his own with no prior experience uh, doing bodywork and painting. He's done a pretty decent job for not knowing much really. Um, only watch, or I guess the only information that he had was going off what he's learned on YouTube from this channel and others out there. So. With that said, go check over uh, Barnsley's Builds channel. There'll be a link down in the description. I'll put some footage up on the screen right now of the video and also Barnsley's channel. Now, I did drive all the way up there, spent a full day with him. Um, I didn't get as much done as, as I had of hoped, um, but in saying that, I didn't realize <laughs> what was needed until I got there. So yeah, go check out his channel. We've done a bit of a collaboration. Uh, big shout out for Barnsley for um, yeah, letting me come up and uh, basically checking out his build. Uh, yeah, as I said, go check out his channel. Now in this video, guys, it's gonna be a little bit scattered. I wasn't planning on doing a video today, um, but I looked at the time and I'm like, God, I knock off work or, uh, in like 20 minutes. And I haven't even started painting a lot of these candies. Now, uh, I'm painting a lot of these aero shapes. So basically here at DNA Paints, um, when we get orders for aero shapes, um, if we're low on stock, then I do a bit of painting and basically top up all the stock. So if you're unfamiliar with what an aero shape is, they're a plastic mold basically uh, in the shape of a car. So when you look at them, you can see the flips um, and flops and what the color looks like on different angles, etc. So we've got a reef blue candy here and we've also got dark ale, which is actually one of my probably more favorite English. It's probably one of my most favorite colors from D8 candies. Um, I actually painted a S15 Sylvia rocket cover um, and brad support underneath the bonnet all in Mutant Crystals, now that's a story for another time. Mutant Crystals is a wicked product by DNA. Um, I'll throw some footage up on the screen of what it looked like, um, but yeah. Anyway, so I wasn't actually planning on doing a video today and I thought, look, since Barnsley put up that video last night, uh, I better give him a mention, go check out the WB. And uh, I thought I'd throw up some footage of what I've been doing today. So pretty much done a fair bit of social media uh, work. Uh, this morning, put up a video on DNA's YouTube channel of me painting a, uh, what are they called, a KitchenAid. So I painted that all in aerosols. So I actually painted this KitchenAid in a emerald green candy with like a metal flake kind of base. Um, done it all in aerosols, put a video up on DNA's channel. I'll throw some footage up on the screen of what that looked like. Uh, it's pretty rad. So basically what I've done is I've sanded it down. I've done some pinstriping over the top. Uh, got some lace, done a lace pattern over it as well. Never actually done a lace pattern before, so uh, I must give myself a little bit of credit. It actually come out better than I expected. Pretty happy with how it is. So I've pretty much based it all up in black base coat. I've pulled it out of the booth so I can focus on painting all these candies. I'll stop rambling on. Let's go throw the GoPro on the head. We'll do a little bit of painting of that. I'll show you the um, the KitchenAid and then we'll throw some custom clear on all these shapes. There's probably about 30 shapes which um, I'll be like painting. I won't show every single step of the way but I'll show you basically what the goal is.
so how I set my gun up is basically uh, I want the air cap as horizontal and as straight as we can uh, the fan all the way open and then the fluid this controls how much paint goes out of the gun so I wind that all the way in so I can't pull the trigger so I can't pull that uh, and then I go out three and a half turns that's two three and a half that's it that's the gun set up and then for the clear coat uh, 29 psi so that's pretty much it guys Alrighty guys, just laid down my two coats of the custom clear. Um, so it does look pretty good. Uh, quite impressed with uh, my paintwork on this one. Um, I've never done a lace pattern before. So um, yeah, it was uh, something new for me to do. And um, I think I pulled it off. It does look pretty cool. Uh, I haven't done a lot of uh, pinstripe uh, masking, like fine line tape masking, uh, a lot before. I've done a little bit, obviously. Um, I've kind of got enough experience to get myself out of trouble um, if I was to ever get requested to do anything. Um, it's one of those things, the hardest part I find about doing it uh, is creating uh, like um, a layout. Uh, it's very difficult to, for me anyway to think of a design. So what I usually do and uh, what um, probably the advice I can give you guys is to just start laying something out and uh, if it looks good, then uh, yeah, you like, roll with it. If it looks horrible or you think it's not gonna work out, then just pull the tape off and start again. Um, I actually masked this up in probably, I don't know, 10 minutes. Um, the lace pattern uh, probably took me probably another, I don't know, five minutes. So it didn't actually take too long to do it. And I'm not trying to flex or anything like that because when it comes to this kind of paintwork, I'm probably one of the biggest amateurs out there. Um, but of course, whenever you do something that you think looks cool, you've got to, I guess, boost your confidence up or um, give yourself some form of credit. And uh, that's what I'm doing. So, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, hope you've all uh, enjoyed this video. It's kind of a little bit scattered all over the place. I didn't actually plan on doing a video today. Um, but yeah, and, and ended up doing one. So um, if you're curious to know, this is Emerald Green Candy. I painted everything with aerosol cans um, by DNA. Um, the only thing that I used a spray gun for was this last final clear coat. 
Um, I used the custom clear, as you would have seen from like, the mixing uh, before, if I threw it in the video. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it'll come out really nice. So if you're wondering what's going on with the light, I've actually got this little light here. So what this does, uh, it's basically a color matching light or a sun torch, as they call it. Um, so if you're um, wanting to know what a color looks like outside in the sunlight, that's what this light does. It kind of replicates what the sun does. There's a few different modes. Um, I've got another one inside, like in the office, um, which goes through uh, a few different white lights, not so much yellow light. So um, when it comes to paintwork, I prefer this light over the other one because it's more of what the sun is uh, when it goes outside. So um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked with this. It come out really nice. So um to my og subscribers uh all the people that have been around for a while so this uh kitchen aid actually belongs to the owner of the property where i very first started my youtube channel almost two years ago so uh the shed where i'd done the xb coupe and uh, a few of the other cars and projects and stuff so this kitchen aid belongs to the owner of that property so um, I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different. It kind of, like as much as it looks good just in the emerald green candy, I kind of wanted to turn it up a little bit, do something that kind of makes it stand out from the rest. And uh, I think I've done that. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at the dark ale candy. Um, look at that. Like, <laughs> I love candies. They just look so good. Um, so yeah, this is dark ale. So uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it at the start of the video. I did record several intros. Um, it's one of those things. I do have a bit of a stutter, so I get, I guess, a little bit self-conscious when it comes to uh, filming intros and talking on on camera. Um, so nine times out of ten, I'll always record like multiple intros, or I might film something again just because I stumbled or uh, stumbled on like a word or started on a word. I mean. Um, but yeah, so um, I actually painted a S15's engine bay underneath the bonnet and rad support um, in this candy. So um, I'll throw some footage up. I'll have to dig it up, um, some footage. But yeah, look at this candy. It looks wicked. Like I love dark ale. It's really, really nice. Um, so I painted some silver flare down there and a couple up here. So um, these silver shapes here were meant to be uh, the ground coat for the reef blue candy which I spoke about at the start of the video so I didn't actually get enough time to paint them it's um I don't know it's probably 4 30 ish at, at the moment on a Friday uh, I usually finish work at three so I usually start early and finish early um, because of the traffic I'm actually so DNA's headquarters, where I'm at now, um, is in Scoresby, and I live in Pakenham. So it's about a almost an hour drive, uh, and double that if there's like peak hour. So I tend to um, start early, finish early, so I can get to work with no traffic, and um, yeah, get home with no traffic. But yeah, that's dark ale, guys. Looks bloody sick. I love it. So um, then we've got yellow gold metallic. So this color isn't too fancy. With the light on it, it almost looks like yellow vortex, uh, just a little bit redder. Um, but yeah, looks really nice. I quite like it. Anyway, guys, uh, big shout out to Barnsley once again uh, for letting me go up there and show him some stuff on his ute. And um, yeah, hope you uh, all head over there and check out his video. Uh, big rundown on how to cut and polish or sand out uh, like orange pill in like your clear coat. So it's a pretty in-depth video. I think it goes for about 50 minutes. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this one, guys. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, do me the favor, hit that subscribe button. We've got some pretty cool content coming up in the new year. I've just recently bought a new uh, camera and... Um, and gimbal so we're going to be getting some pretty cool shots and uh, i want to try and lift my game up in the editing side of things and also uh, the filming part of things as well and not only that um, my paintwork as well i want to do more of this kind of stuff uh, more of what the low rider kind of stuff um, it's something i haven't really done a lot of um, and this here is pretty much the extent of it Anyway, guys, I'll leave the video there. You guys take it easy. Thanks for watching this one. And uh, I'll see you on my next video. Cheers.